I am David Marslin, and my wife Susan Marslin is waiting for us at Century 21. Susan is running for San Jose City Council, and she wants to make San Jose a truly great city where you don't have to spend five to nine thousand dollars a year for a car, and where you can afford to want. live, and where we have more jobs, and where we're not working for the realtors and just the realtors and just the Chamber of Commerce or just labor, where we get them all working together, where we have a great city that everybody can live in. And bikes are a big part of that great city, and there's a lot of bikes in San Jose! Bike party! So I just got back from riding 350 miles for the planet, for the climate How ride. How did you do that? I just kept riding. We had a lot of good friends. Uh, we rode from San Francisco out uh, to the Russian River, then through wine country after wine country after wine country, through Davis. We can make San Jose a better bike town than Davis, because we got more riders, way more riders. Well, better leadership. We and better Susan. leadership with Woo! Susan Marsland for City Council. Woo! Susan. So proud of my wife. She has worked really hard. She has lived in San Jose for over 30 years. She's been a community leader in San Jose for over 30 years. She got her first, she was running against Paul Fong in the State Assembly. In 1987, Susan worked with John Vasconcellos. Rest in peace, John Vasconcellos, good man. She worked with John Vasconcellos because we lived in Spartan City. There were 150 families living in Spartan City, half of them single mothers. Most of them getting around by bikes are really beat up old cars. Um, and they told us they were going to shut down Spartan City. They told us there was no housing for families. And Susan and a bunch of other people stood up. We camped out on the, um, camped out in front of the tower at San Jose State. We worked with housing lawyers. We worked with Senator Jim Bell, who's been a good friend ever since. Um, and we camped out on Gail Fulton's lawn and, you, and we said, look, kids and single mothers and families need help with housing. This valley is too expensive. These single mothers are now nurses and lawyers and teachers because they had the ability to live in reasonable housing. So what did my wife Susan do about it? She says everybody should have this opportunity. So she went worked with Senator Vasconcellos, or sorry, Assemblyman Vasconcellos, and got AB 8100 passed. AB 8100 mandated that the entire California State University and UC system study the housing needs of all students, not just single students. And that's what Susan's all about. That was 25 years ago, 27 years ago. Wow. wow, that's, I was half my age then, because today I am 54 years old. 54. And every day I ask Susan, will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 54. So look, you have no idea how powerful your wheels are. How much of a difference does it make in affording a place to live if you don't have to spend five to nine thousand dollars a year on a car. Talk about the bike vote now. Of, of bikeable cities like Santa Barbara, I was down there. How many people are going to vote on June there 3rd? There are no cars parked on State Street in Santa Barbara. And it's Talk about it, we got to roll. Electric, uh, Come on. Okay. You know, we need, walk, we need bikeable Yes, cities. we need bikeable cities. How many people are going to vote on June 3rd? How many are going to vote? How many votes you got? Tell everyone to vote on June 3rd. Vote. It doesn't matter what district you're in. We don't give up. Get out and vote. Because yeah. a poor vote means just as much as a rich vote. What? Anybody, anybody can vote. Flex your power. Seriously, flex bike power. Find out who's going to support bikes in San Jose. Find out who's going to support all the people in San Jose, not just the special interests. Susan does not work for any of them. She took no money from them. So get out there, rock the bike boat!
Fight! Fight! Fight!